Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Friesland, where we are at war with nobody. It's kind of nice. We just pieced out our coalition by full annexing the leader, East Frisia. That's right, leader of the coalition was East Frisia, because we declared on him. It's a little tricky way to get rid of your coalition. It's kind of amusing. Uh, what's all this? What's going on? Sweden joined Denmark in war against the Teutons. Oh, God. Denmark. <laughs> everyone's beating up on the Teutonic Order. There's like, there's like nothing left, and everyone's like, I want a piece of the pie. I want a piece of the pie. Oh no, we lost Conquer on our vassal. Damn it! Whatever will we do? We lost Conquer on our vassal, everyone. Oh, it'll be all right. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Puddin' Pop. Everything will be fine. Increased innovative in Friesland. Oh no, we lost increased innovative. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry your sweet little head. Poor government policies. Lose stability or lose ducats. Hey, I've got ducats. I've got those. Alright, let's get relations up with Utrecht. And I think we can start annexing him. I'm pretty sure he'll have this core done before we finish the annexation. 160 points to start the core. Takes him about a year to finish the core. Maybe 16 months. Something like that. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we should be fine. And even if he doesn't finish it, I'll just core it. Screw it. He's got the other three done. That's what's important. Right? Right. 9, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31. There we go. Come on home, bro. We have a vassal to annex. It costs 440 diplo. It'll be finished in... Oh, yeah. Nine years. Pshh. Holy crap, nine years to annex you? Damn. That is a long time. I should get a statesman for that shit. Statesman! Oh god, he's a level three. I can't afford that. Never mind. <laughs> That's an expensive statesman. Where'd you find a level three statesman at 1480? Nobody can possibly afford that. What's he gonna do for his life? If he's demanding that much money, what does he do for his entire life if not a single nation in the world can afford him? That's right, he does nothing. He starves. Does nothing. All right, Holland has cored. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, we cored Ostfriesland. Nice. And we accept Hanoverian culture. That's not going to last long. All right, let's go ahead and annex... Uh, what's his name? Munster. I got no need for you, Munster. As much as I like the claims that you have on random people, psh, screw it. I'll go vassalize Hesse or something. In fact, vassalizing Hesse looks like a great idea. Do we have a truce? No, we don't. And the cost to vassalize? 56. Yep. Sounds like fun. So we'll get a claim on Oldenburg, and then we'll declare on Hesse. Vassalize Hesse, full annex Oldenburg. Oh, yes, looks good. Looks good, man. Looks good. No, it's going to take forever to get all this stuff done. I wonder if we're even going to get any of that stuff done. I'm talking big talk, and we, we're we probably going to be Tech 10 in just, like, you know, a few years. Who the hell? Is this Pomerania? It is! Pomerania is invading Novgorod, everyone. There you go. Sign of a good war is Pomerania invading Novgorod. England has discovered bronze cannons, which means he's tech 7. Good for you, England. Is France tech 7? He is. But England's the first one that actually has this resource, copper, to reach tech 7. Castile lost the Iberian wedding because his prestige was too low when they died. Kind of interesting, but nah, it happens. It happens. We're forming your home country? Yes, we are. Someone's got to live there, right? Well, not always. But usually someone lives there. Oh, goodness. We're going to have to try to see if we get Munster, Munster's timing for annexation to be the same month that Utrecht annexes. So when we when we click on the button to start to start annexing him, it'll show us what month they'll finish, I believe. And then we can compare that to... Uh, Utrecht and see if we can make them match. That way we won't have the uh, what's it called? Negative three 
What is it called? Reputation. Diplomatic reputation. We'll avoid the negative three diplomatic reputation if they annex on the same day. Oh, England. Stop being a douche. England has all of Ireland as his vassals, and he's eating Scotland. God damn it, England. Go away. Why does Novgobar still exist? Because Muscovy has lost wars to the Golden Horde, Kazan, Novgorod, and Poland. Muscovy has lost a lot of wars. He even lost a war to Crimea. Believe it or not. He's not having a good campaign. But he is still there. He's already an ex-perm. I think he's begun colonizing. I assume he's begun colonizing. Have you begun colonizing? Bum, 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 bum. No, he doesn't have expansion yet. Well, he'll colonize soon enough. He's right there at the Urals. He's ready to rock. And unless someone forces him to release perm, then he's just going to do that. Baba. Oh, good. He's coring Antwerpen. Yay. Bumpa, 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 bumpa. Bumpa, bumpa. Bumpa, 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 bumpa. And I'm glad the Hansa doesn't hate us for that. We we totally stiffed him. We didn't give him some lands that he wanted, that he sieged. We didn't give him shit. And he's like, ah, oh, negative 70, I hate you. And then he's like, nah, it's fine. That's good. He's like a, a mid-tier mid -tier power. He's got a lot of income, not a lot of troops. Well, I don't know, 17 is a decent amount of troops. Holy shit, you trekked. It's a 3-3 general. What's his name? Rudolph Brennan... Brenninkmeyer. Rudolf Brenninkmeyer. Brenninkmeyer. Interesting name there. And yep, that's it for the Teutonic Order. They're dead. Bye, Teutons! Take Vlanderin because Vlanderin is love, Vlanderin is life. I don't need to. Uh, what I plan on doing is. Uh, well, I had planned on releasing Flanders as, an, as a vassal, just to give me a buffer between us and France, but I guess that's not necessary. Uh, we're just going to have to kick France to the curb at some point here. Cool. Tech 7, everyone. Tech 7. Little dab will do ya. Mm. So now that we're tech... Ooh, opposing military schools. Lose stability or lose stability? Man, I love losing stability. It's just the best. We took Exploration Idea Group, so I want to start exploring. Uh, we could pop out Quest for the New World and start uh, checking out what's out there. There's no real need to do that just yet, but I do want to do that soon-ish. Uh, the closest lands that we can colonize are in the Caribbean, I believe. So we're going to have to go straight to the Caribbean. The Caribbean is closer than Greenland, it's closer than Bermuda, it's closer than North America, it's closer than South America. The Caribbean is the closest place to go. And it's based on prevailing winds, I believe. All right, Munster, how much to annex you? 1484, that's too soon. Yeah, so we're gonna wait five years to annex Munster. Remind me in 1480, let's say around 1486, around December, we'll start looking at the annexation dates for Munster. Remind me everyone, Twitch chat, I'm counting on you. Four years, remind me. In the meantime, let's keep getting relations up with everyone who's, uh, you know, shaky on the whole alliance situation. Does France get his cores from you? Does does Clance get his cores when you form Netherlands? No. No, because that's, that's a Burgundy thing. That's only a Burgundy thing. If you are Burgundy and you form the Netherlands, then France gets all their French stuff. Damn it, this is the fourth time we've had this event. The fourth time. This is unbearable. How much inflation are we going to get here from these events? We're up to eight inflation from those events. All right, I need to see if we can hire an anti-inflation guy. This is getting out of hand. Yes. He's old, but he'll help a little bit. Wow, he's old. He's not going to live very long. Still, he'll help. Oh, it's going to be so nice having all this land. It's going to be all 75 um, autonomy. But we can immediately lower the autonomy everywhere. Fight some rebels, it's fine. At least I think we'll immediately lower... The, yeah, we should be able to immediately just lower the autonomy everywhere. 
it'd be fine. Straight to the Indies? Yeah, exactly. What about Africa? Well, we're gonna go everywhere, but the thing is, Africa, you're talking about the little, the little, like, places you can colonize on the coast. Wow, Peasants War. The places you can colonize on the coast are usually already taken by uh, Portugal and Castile, so I'm not gonna bother. What the hell is going on, Austria? He's not even in a war. Is this your entire army? Oh, Austria's army is stuck. Austria has 31,000 troops in Brisco, or Sungo, and he can't get through Switzerland because Switzerland hates him. <laughs> so he can't fight these peasant rebels. He's fucked. He is absolutely 100% fucked, unless he goes to war. Oh, nope, nope, he got access. Never mind, he's not fucked. Never mind. False alarm. He has access. False alarm, everyone. <laughs> It looked bad, though. What's my biggest vassal ever? Hmm. I don't know. In the uh, Sunni Strike Back campaign, I had the Teutonic Order as a vassal. And they were maybe 75 provinces. They were pretty big. the hell? Oldenburg just ate Hanover. <laughs> what the fuck? Oldenburg, no! Stop it. This is the police speaking, Oldenburg. Stop it. What are you doing? You bastard. Oldenburg coalitioned us. Okay. You want a repeat of last time, Oldenburg? <laughs> are you kidding me? We have a truce. You shouldn't be able to coalition me if we have a truce. Oh, the truce is up, apparently. Oh, wait, 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 that was East Frisia we coalition, or we, we fought last time. Okay, Oldenburg is indeed a new coalition derp. That's fine. You go ahead and declare. No, go ahead, declare on me. Go on. Why you no declare, Oldenburg? Oldenburg, declare. Look, I'll, I'll even unfund my army. Go ahead, declare. What are you going to do? Go on, declare. Go on. No? What are you, pussy? You scared? You chicken? Oh, he's scared. Poor guy. I feel for you. I really do. Let's see. France. Yes, relations go. God, England's just gonna full annex Scott. There's nothing left. England's just gonna full annex him. He's gonna wait five years, full siege, full annex. It's too bad France has no navy. It's too bad I have no navy. I could totally help France in that war if, if, if I had a freaking navy, you know? Yeah, we're halfway to the embassy. Need more money, though. Go for St. Helena and skip to South Africa. Yeah, uh, if it's available. A lot of times I find St. Helena becomes uh, colonized by, like, Portugal or Castile, like, really early. But sometimes they don't even bother. Sometimes they like getting the coast of Africa. St. Helena is a good stopping point, though. What was my favorite campaign? I think my favorite campaign was Ceylon. Because it was my second game in EU4. And it was... Well, the start was really horrible. It's so hard to start a Ceylon, or at least it used to be. I'm sure it's different now. But it's so hard to start a Ceylon because you're Buddhist and everyone around you is not Buddhist. So you can't get any allies. You actually cannot get any allies. Uh, you can't marry anyone, you can't, I mean, there's just so restrictions, you just couldn't do anything. So, we had to really get creative and find ways to, like, just wait for the absolute right moment to attack a nation. Because they had, like, maybe they just lost, uh, maybe they just collapsed to rebels, or maybe they just lost a war and they were forced to break all their alliances or something. We had to wait for certain opportunities like that before we could do anything in that campaign. It was so hard. Because everyone around you is Hindu or Sunni. Everyone is Hindu or Sunni. No one wants any relationships at all. So it's just like, what do you do, you know? That campaign was great. And then we ended it. We ended that campaign by taking like, you know, 200 and, or 300 over extension just for shits and giggles. Rebels everywhere. Why not? Just for fun. Bourgeois want privileges. Lose admin or lose diplo. Well, I'll lose the admin because we're working on a Diplo idea group right now. But I'd rather not lose either one, but oh well. Ah, 
Aachen, Magdeburg, and Oldenburg. Naples declared war on Aragon. Ooh. Ooh, Castile joined against Aragon. <laughs> Bye, Aragon. <laughs> Bye, Aragon. You lost your union with Castile. You're dead. You did. I mean, either way, you're dead. It's just whether or not you wait for Castile to hit the button, or you just get a next. It's the same difference to you. Blame Aragon. Oh, wow. England is domineering. England views Friesland as their future subject, and will not be shy about declaring war to force them into vassalage. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on! Yeah, come on and fight France and Austria at the same time. Do it. Do it now. I'll do it now. <laughs> oh, wait. I sent them an insult. I meant to improve relations. Um, oops. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, let, let's rectify that. Let's let's rectify that. Oh, Scotland will become a vassal of England. Oh, he didn't full an X. And England is now friendly. What the balls? England just went from domineering to friendly. I don't understand. That makes no sense. And the king didn't change. He just decided to be friendly instead of domineering. What the fuck? Oh, I have one coalition member now. Why are you friendly? Is it because I insulted Denmark? I wonder if it's because I insulted Denmark. All right, do we keep this guy for a third term? He's he's just turned 50. I think we do. Yeah, keep him. 363. Three. I like it. Austria finished their peasants war. Okay. France wants help against Aragon. Uh, what is this? France declared war on Aragon, which means Castile's in the war? Who's in the war, France? Oh, that's right. Aragon's at war with Castile. Oh, of course. Put me in, coach. Uh, I am worried about my navy, though, so I'm going to dock him up, because Portugal's just going to come wreck my navy. So just dock up the navy for now. We're fine. <clears throat> oh, temples. Yes. Lovely. New land, new temples. We might want to fund the army, but... Nah. Nah, screw the army. England's so happy. He even unembargoed us. What is happening to my world? Do I think discipline has too big of an impact? No. Discipline is probably the single most important stat in the game. Discipline determines how many troops your soldiers kill in every round, depending on your role. If you have a good role and high discipline, you do lots of kills. If you have a good role and low discipline, you'll do some kills. That's It's, it's a huge difference. Do I think it's too important? No. I think it's very important. But as long as you know that it's important, then it's not really a problem, right? You just pay attention to it. And if you ever go to war, hiring a discipline advisor is very recommended. Yeah, we insulted England's rival, and he went from domineering to friendly. Instantly. Just like, wow, okay. Right, I'm not forgetting about Munster. I'm going to check him in January of 86, and we'll see what it looks like. But I think it's more going to be like January of 87, or maybe maybe middle of 87. Because Munster doesn't have that much base tax, so it's not going to take long to annex him. And it's going to be, when we, when we finish piecing them out, we're going to be at negative 50 with every single nation in the HRE, including Austria. Negative 50. So just keep that in mind. We're going to be pissing off everyone in the HRE by 50. It's 25 per vassal. Adds up quick. Hansa might break alliance over it. We'll see. But France should still be happy. Austria is definitely high enough to still be happy. Uh, I wonder if the King of Burgundy event's going to happen. 
You still have an heir? Oh, he has no heir. King of Burgundy event. It's going to happen. Ooh, heated debates. Some members of the parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. What? We have plus one repute. What? I don't know. They're claiming that it's having a negative effect on our trade relations. The question has been raised numerous times in the past, but not that many have thought of it of any consequence. This time the matter is causing some really heated debates, though. Perhaps we should try to settle things before they get out of hand. Spend money or lose stability. We'll spend the money. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, yeah. France, are you just going to full annex Aragon? Go for it. Just full annex him. Because Naples... Oh, wow. Naples can't even get over here because of rebels. Naples cannot even get here because of rebels. That's hilarious. I thought they'd be Sicilian nationalists, but no, they're just peasant rebels. Ow. Ooh. Oh. Oh. How about plutocratic for that second idea group? Uh, actually, we don't have plutocratic available, do we? Oh, we do. We do have plutocratic available. Interesting. Plus 10. Yeah, Plutocratic's pretty damn good. Yeah, definitely. Can't pass that up. Pretty good ideas. Minority prospers. With their legal status guaranteed by our Bill of Rights, a minority is prospering under our rule. <laughs> it's got to be those East Frisians, because that's all there is. We only have two provinces. Alright, let's take a look at Munster. Baba. Ah, bum, 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 bum. This one's finishing December 1489. This one's going to be... Oh, we're at war. We can't even look. Can't even look because we're at war. Can we peace out? Mm, let's see. What's the war for? Rusalon? Let's see if he wants peace because this is getting pretty sieged up. No? If I separate peace out, France could get... Well, no. It's only like negative 30. It's not that big of a deal. All right, just peace out. Sorry, France. Negative, ne negative 30. Damn it. Well, don't be too upset, France. I still love you, okay? I love who you are. All right, uh, March. No, no, no. So we need to wait. Let's see, December. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We need to wait nine months. So we need to wait until, uh, let's see, nine months from February... March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Need to wait till November. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, wait till November, and then we'll start. Okay. And not even this year, next November. So November of 87 is when we start. I should get relations up. Yeah, I have thousands of hours in this game, and there's still a lot I need to learn about it. Oh, shoot, our stupid guy died. All right, diplomat. I have thousands of hours in this game, but there's still a lot to learn. Like, I barely ever play Republics, so this is just all new to me. Oh, we have a 31-year-old guy. Nice. Very nice. I'll try to keep him a little while. I think it's going to be November 87, not, not, um, yeah, it's going to be a while. Oh, shit, France peaced out right away. Damn it. So we took that, that, uh, 30 relations hit and France peaced out instantly anyway. Damn it. Oh, well. Sorry, France. I thought I saw a squirrel. Here, I'll go give you a hug, okay? Lots of hugs. Many, many hugs. Oh, shoot. Revolt risk or prestige? Fine, revolt risk. Damn it. Hmm. Ten point five revolt risk. That's pretty brutal.
France at war with Venice. Nationalism, plus nine. Man, that needs to go away. And this is with our government, which lowers nationalism by five years. It's really good. Hmm, these fuckers are about to spawn. All right, just fund the army. Let them spawn. Let them spawn. Let them burn. All right, we can use our navy again. Whoops. Navy, protect my trade. I need the monies. All right, check mark, go on. And put our troop, our vassals on protective, supportive, whatever. So when these idiots spawn, I'll have somebody to help. Yeah, January 89. So we need to wait until November of 87 before we hit the button. November, November, I hope I don't forget. November, November, please don't forget. Wow, he has fought to the end plus 12 at the same time as separate piece minus 28. That's pretty bad. We have a positive modifier and a negative modifier, both for staying in a war and piecing out early at the same time. It's kind of weird. Ah, goodness. All right, let's go top you off before we annex Munster. November, March. Let's not get into a war, or else I can't start the annexation. April. Are we still losing money? What the hell? How are we losing money? Oh, because we have two advisors. Alright, kick the relations guy. Screw him. We're still losing money. What? Crazy. Our income is just garbage. We need to annex this guy right away because his income is pretty decent. All this land is going to give us so much more income. We're getting from him as a vassal less than a ducat. But once we own that land directly, we're going to get a lot more land. Wow, the rebels haven't spawned. Why not? Huge revolt risk. Just spawn already so I can kill you all. Ant ideas on religion. You mean any ideas? Like, am I going to flip religions to anything? Um, we might go reformed. I don't know, really. I haven't planned on it. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't, I don't know either. I don't know. Ooh, a 3-5. Damn. Good luck, Brandenburg. Surprise these rebels still haven't spawned. Okay, September, October. Let's check October just for shits and giggles. Come on back. And see what he says. It's probably going to be one month off, right? December of 89. November. Okay, yeah. So we're going to wait till next month and we'll hit the button. And then they should annex on the same day. Should being the key word. There you go. December 1489. December 1489. Lovely. Good times. Keep building them docks. Man, if I if I had just stayed in that war, but I couldn't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? What? Aragon's beating Castile, he's gonna get his lands back. Oh yes, please, yes, woohoo! Wait a minute, is that good or bad? I don't care, do it, it's hilarious. Aragon's gonna get all his lands back. How are you beating Castile? Especially after France crushed your fucking face, how are you? How the hell are you beating Castile? I don't get it, but I love it. Do it more, do it now.
Meanwhile, the North African provinces owned by Spain, by Castile and Portugal are all revolting. They're going to flip away. Have I ever invaded Europe with a North American tribe? Nope. With a Native American tribe? No, I haven't. Haven't tried. All right, here come the rebels. Here come the rebels. Vassals, protect me. I wonder how many will spawn. East Frisian nationalists. I wonder. Hmm. Spawn? Spawn? Squirrel? No? They're at 90%. Just spawn. Oh, it's only a 7% chance per month. Oh, that's not a very good chance per month. Oh, well. Oh, wow. There you go. Muscovy's finally winning a war. Go, Muscovy. Win your war. Jeez, our economy. It'll be fine. As soon as we annex these idiots, it'll be fine. We're getting less than a ducat from them. We're getting half a ducat from these two vassals. And they have so much land. We just gotta get rid of them. I love their armies, but I have France and Austria as my army right now. As soon as I have those vassals out of the way, I'll be a economic machine. Some kind of thing. Goodbye, Novgorod. You had a good run. Oh, really? A fifth time? A fifth time of gaining inflation? I can't believe it. I cannot... How, why do we have so much inflation? What the fuck? That's five times we've had that plus two inflation event. Five times. I don't even... I don't understand it. Why? <laughs> Why have we had so much inflation problems? That event. Five times. No, Riga got that land through rebels. Poland had their army stuck somewhere and Poland's, Poland's lands flipped to Riga. Riga didn't go to war for that shit, trust me. <laughs> no, I haven't tried the Aztec, uh, the thing, the Sunset Invasion, I haven't tried that. I've seen it done. Um, DDR Jake did it by exploiting just uh, infinite money exploitation, which I thought was hilarious. Um, he was able to build just this huge army, the like massive mercenary army that was just paid through this this uh, infinite money bug. I don't know if they've ever closed that loophole. They probably did, but it was weird to see it in practice. Okay, the war's over. Aragon got none of his lands back. None. Completely destroyed Castile. Didn't get any land back. No. <laughs> oh, poor Castile. I mean, poor Aragon. And Aragon was the war leader, because that was, yeah, Naples declared war on Aragon, and Naples is allied to Castile. Or they were, they're not anymore. But yeah, Naples declared war on Aragon. Castile joined the war on Naples' side. Aragon was the war leader. He didn't take any land. None. It's just crazy. Uh, wild dingoes, you get that event if you have plus five inflation? No, we've had that event five times, meaning we got it when we had zero inflation, we got it when we had two inflation, we got it when we had four inflation, we got it when we had six inflation, we got it when we had eight inflation, and the rebels finally spawned. That, that event has nothing to do with how much inflation you currently have, because we've already had it five times. Yay, and now I can stop funding the army. Well, I'll put them on, like, low maintenance. And my vassals are annexed in a couple months. Cool. Wonder what our force limit will be. Probably not very good. Probably not very good. We're at 9 force limit right now. I imagine it'll be somewhere around 15. We're going to have to delete a lot of these troops. Oh, there goes Novgorod. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that is just disgusting. Good job, Muscovy. 
Alright, say goodbye to my two vassals next month. Oh, apparently it, in, it annexed Munster, but not Utrecht. Why not? I don't know? But yeah, holy crap, are we about to piss off a lot of people. Oh my god, we might lose our alliance with the Hansa here. That's a thing that could happen. Anyway, uh, let's see. What's our force limit now after annexing Munster? No, nah, yeah, just delete this army. Don't worry about it. And, oh, Hesse coalitioned us. All right, yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm just going to lo lower the autonomy here. Lower the autonomy. <clears throat> Goodbye, Utrecht. Beautiful. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Friesland, look at that. Yes, beautiful. Uh, okay, we're losing 16 ducats a month because we're way over our, our limit is 10. Wow, annexing our two vassals brought our force limit up from 9 to 10. That is crazy. Anyway, lower the autonomy everywhere. I can't believe our force limit went up by 1. We annexed all of our vassals and our force limit went up from 9 to 10. Wow, that's just shit. That is some shit right there. All right. Okay, so we're at our limit now. 13 out of 13. Uh, maintenance is low. Are we over our naval force limit? No, we have room for more naval force limit. All right, we get. He has heavies. Ah, I think we'll keep we'll keep the cogs. We can um, mothball them. So you guys are working on English Channel, English Channel. That's fine. That should be okay. Our economy should be fine. Oh, better administration. Lose inflation. By reigning in the nobility... Okay, so we've had five bad events for inflation and one good event. Thank goodness. Finally. Sheesh. At least we finally had a good event. And wow, Hansa is just begging to break the alliance. Don't do it. Don't do it. I repent. we got to work on our allies. Really got to work on our allies. Oh, let's look at all that land. It's gorgeous. You know what, though? That's all we have for today. Uh, come back next time where we'll continue our trek towards Tech 10 and our achievement. I'll see you then. Have a good day.